Now for the EFTD group, Mr Nuttall. Uh, Mr President, um, well, in fact, everyone's a president here, isn't it wonderful? But I'll deal with the one who's here today attending his final conference of presidents. Uh, Mr Van Rompuy, uh, you've come here to talk about the European Council, Ukraine, energy, the economy. It all seems very business as usual to me. But I've also listened to you for the past five years now, and I'd like to give you a critique on what I've heard. Much of the time, you've reminded me of that other great statesman of our time, Comical Ali. You remember him, Saddam Hussein's information minister, the man who told the world's press that there were no Americans in Iraq, yet US tanks were rolling in to Baghdad behind him. The man was laughed at so much that it earned him the unfortunate name Comical Ali. He was delusional uh, to the point Kollege, of denial. Nein, ein and I'm sad nein, to nein, say... Sie mal, hang Sie mal, on. No, let me finish. Nein, nein, warten Sie mal. Just a moment, please. Das, warte mal, moment. To the point of denial, and I'm sad to say we've witnessed something similar for, for the past warten five Sie mal, years. Moment. Sorry, I would ask you to, 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 to stop, please. C could I ask you to just wait a second? I'm sorry, but that is unacceptable. Be quiet for a second. You cannot compare the President of the European Council with the propaganda minister of a brutal dictatorship. Das ist deutlich that is quite clearly. Please, could I ask you to keep quiet? That is beyond the bounds of what is acceptable as a parliamentary uh, discussion. So could I please call you to order? Could I ask you please not to use such terms? Otherwise, I will be obliged as president of this parliament to impose penalties on you. OK, I will carry on then. OK, so what have you really achieved in your five years as president of this council? You helped destroy democracy in Greece and Italy by helping to remove two democratically elected prime ministers, replacing them with two europhile puppets whose strings were pulled from Brussels. You've also overseen a massive growth of youth unemployment, which is now averaging 50% in Greece, Spain and Italy. This is literally over one million young Europeans who are living their lives in despair, unable to find a job, and some who are fleeing the continent altogether. Spanish are going to Argentina, Portuguese to Brazil, and even Angola. And it seems everyone else is coming to Britain. Last year, we had a massive 247,000 people net come to Britain, the majority from within the European Union. This unfettered and uncontrolled mass influx of people has driven down wages and in some cases put people out of work. Yet you, Mr Van Rompuy, yet you, Mr. Van Rompuy still rule out allowing us to control our own borders. But you don't just want to stop there. You're committed to expanding the European Union even further east, even though virtually everyone west of the Ukraine thinks that this is madness. You've overseen a tide of Euroscepticism that swept across Europe in the European elections, which has resulted in a divided European Union. You claim that the Euro crisis was over last year, but now the specter of deflation is hanging over the Mediterranean states. Mr Van Rompuy, I think that your five-year tenure as President of the Council can be summed up by three Ds. Delusion, despair and now deflation, and nothing I've heard today will make me change my opinion. Thank you. So I'll give the floor straight away to Mr Nuttall. Uh, Mr President, uh, in one of your final acts, uh, as President of the Council, Mr Van Rompuy, uh, with the aid of Mr Barroso, you ambushed the British Prime Minister at the, Council, uh, the European Council last week with a bill for £1.7 billion. Pounds. Uh, our government will now have to ask the hard-working British taxpayers to foot this bill because we have been successful. Yes, that's right. Success is punished in the European Union. And forget Mr Cameron's pitiful Hugh Grant impression, saying that he will now stand up to the European Union because these are rules that we foolishly signed up to and we will have to pay or you will fine us. I want to finish by saying a big thank you to Mr Van Rompuy and also to Mr Barroso 
because you have pushed Britain to the exit door, one which I hope that we will walk through very soon indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Coburn, this is not a, a debate. This is a, the Conference of the Presidents. Yes, but sir, um, you, you should have, have the floor. You don't someone have the floor. speaking you don't other than people who just congratulate you on how wonderful you are. You closed down uh, Mr. Nuttall. You closed down anyone who disagrees with you. This is a eunuch of a parliament and an absolute joke. La conferenza è conclusa. Je veux... so the conference is closed. I want to thank Mr. Van Rompuy and thank Jean-Claude Juncker for their presence here today. You've also got to respect the rules, sir, if that's clear. Thank you. Votre représentant a déjà parlé deux fois. Your representative has already spoken twice, and the conference of the president is now closed. Thank you, and we'll see you all later.